What's happening, family? Welcome back to my black universe. Got some more tech in the building. I've been waiting on this one. A lot of you have been waiting on this one. So let's get right into it, man. Give me some. Thanks for your order, bud. Use code FISTBUMP for 10% off your next order. Bet. And join your Inspire. Leave us a review on Facebook. Mike. Inspire Electronics. www.inspire.co. Inspire. All right, family. You know what time it is. You see that? You see that? The NX Pro Plus Limited Edition. 128 gigs. Inspire Electronics, a Tesla wireless company. Like I told y'all, designed in Alabama. We got it here on the back. Blind hole display, which is basically the punch hole. Triple camera, you got 16, 13, and 2 megapixel cameras. Super fast charging. USB Type-C, fingerprint access, 4,000 milliamp battery, dual nano, SIM, dual nano SIM slot. Inside the box, you got the phone, the USB cable, adapter, standard headphones. Okay, so that's what's up. Quick start guide, protective film, and protective case. Now let's get up in here real quick, Mike. Couple pieces of tape. I want to cut into the tape setter. All right. Okay. Any more tape? Nah, that's one more tape. Let go. There you go. professional right now. Dang. Got him on me had a phone while you let me buy. Tight box. All right, here we are, here we are. All right, so here is the phone. Lift up this tray, oh, you got some foam. This tray, quick start guide. Sim injection tool. Gel skin case with a plastic protector just in case it has a textured side on the inside of this feels nice USB type-c cable got some uh, decent looking headphones you have inline controls looks like you do let's get these out real quick uh rudimentary controls like pause and play and here is your charging brick all right let's get into the device people so now uh, the NX Pro Plus, I got it here in the cotton candy color. If you got the regular NX Pro, um, it came in red and black for sure. But you can't find those anymore. 
What does a soda look like? Oh. Please peel out this mask after application complete. Okay. So I guess they... Yeah, it looks like there's a uh, screen protector already on here, so you don't have to put another one on it. Got it on the back. Got the film. I do. See the back. Looks nice. You know what I'm saying? Some color change effect from Texas. You know what I'm saying? You might like that. I am from Texas. That's power. Inspired. Powered by Android. While that's powering up, I'm going to clean up this area real quick. All right, family. We're back in. So, I already put in my information. As you can see, you have the Texas wireless bear on here. Hit that fingerprint sensor. sensor. Now, I notice when the device is uh, closed and you hit it, it is a, such a delay from the time you hit it to the time it opens. So the fingerprint sensor is not fast at all. And it's not very consistent. Like I'm too many attempts. To try again later. Okay. Now I don't even have it. Put the pin in. Breeze through the OS real quick. So here you are. This is uh when it comes shipped with Windows 10, which is dope. Six gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of memory. Mind you, this is a two hundred dollar phone. And it's downloaded all my apps here in the background. And another thing I noticed is when I was setting this up to connect to the Wi-Fi, I can only get the two point four gigahertz bandwidth. Uh, I, the fact that I can't get the five gigahertz bandwidth is not okay with me. Now, mind you, this is a very loud speaker. You do have dual speaker grills, but it's only one speaker, and it's coming from right here. It's super loud. So, yeah, let's uh, let's do something about that real quick. There we go. You see, you got standard standard features in here. This looks like their skin right here. Not bad. It's not very laggy, but this is not the most quick or crisp user interface um, on any phone that you will find out but once again this is 200 bucks so it's a decent phone you got a polycarbonate back once again as you can see it's a big fingerprint magnet so you might want to wipe it down and do the case On this just in case. Now the cool thing is with this uh being a polycarbonate back, you don't have to worry about shattering your phone. It's super lightweight. This is not necessarily the best case because this is really deep in there. As you can see, my finger there to use the uh fingerprint sensor. As you can see, this is not the best case <laughs> design at all. So when I want to use a fingerprint sensor, I literally have to dig my finger in there to get it. But there you go. Let's go over to the camera real quick. Okay. Can I connect the camera? Huh, let's try it again. Okay. All right, look, we're having issues already with the UI. All right, there we go. I'm not sure what's going on with that. All right, so third time is a try. Okay, yeah, the camera's not working. That's not a good sign. So right at the gate, we're having issues. And we're not using the Nova Launcher. We're using the stock launcher. Stock launcher. So let's go to a website real quick. Go to you see how long this takes. So if you're used to a very premium phone, this is not gonna be the phone for you. Let's go to Amazon. <laughs> All right. 
So I am not happy already. It's taking forever. Okay, that's not bad. Scrolling's not bad. Mind you, we're on a 2.4 gigahertz network, so we don't have the best speeds. And this is super laggy. Super laggy. Put that for down so it can stop hollering at me. All right. As you can see right here, this is this is the OS. This is how it moves. This is how it operates. Right out the box, I am not impressed. Uh, build quality, you know, I can excuse that. It's a $200 phone, but I expect this to be a little bit smoother because um, it is 6 gigs of RAM. It's not the highest amount of RAM available, but 6 gigs of RAM is adequate. Uh, so I expect a little bit more uh, as far as its smoothness and uh, the usability. All right, family. I know I cut the video off abruptly, but I did see a glimmer of good news. Wireless update. A new version is available. So we're going to do the update. We're going to go back into all the features and make sure everything is copacetic. So it could have been just a bug. It looks like it was just a bug. We're going to do the update, go back into it, make sure that everything's all right, and continue this review. Real quick, family. So if you get this device, this is what it looks like as it's doing its update. All right. Get the colorful ring. You see your status bar or your progress bar. So once it's done, we'll hop back into the device, go through the settings, the functions, and the features, and give you a full-on initial review. All right, family. So let's run down the spec list real quick. So damage resistant, we got water and dust IP68 rating, which is good. You have a Unisoc SC9863 processor. The CPU is an 8-core, 855, 1.6 gigahertz, plus 1.2 gigahertz AMR Cortex-TM-855 chip. The GPU is an IMG8322. It does come with Android 10, fresh out the box. 6 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of memory. Of course, we got the 4,000 milliamp non-removable battery. You do have facial recognition, pin, password, and fingerprint. Bluetooth 5.0, USB Type-C as we saw. 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. <laughs> Boom, right there. G sensor, light sensor, proximity sensor, standard stuff. Triple rear camera, of course, 16 megapixel, 13 megapixel, 2 megapixel. The 16 megapixel is a f2.2 aperture. The 13 megapixel is a f1.9 aperture. The front camera is a 16 megapixel to f2.2 aperture. So we're going to take some selfies and check that out. Uh, for your, you have autofocus. You have uh, support up to 30 frames per second video recording, which is eh, it's, it's, it's good. It could be 60. I would rather it be 60, but 30 will work. You have a night mode, a night shot. You have QR. And that's it. All right, family. So let's go back into the features now that we had the update. Let's go back to the camera and see if that's been fixed. Bam. It's fixed. Let's go into some of the other features of the camera. Video recording. Mm -hmm. Can we go into settings right here? Doesn't look like we can. We got slow motion, like it said. We have, let's go back. Time lapse, night shot. Okay, that's cool. Do that for now. Still not very responsive, even with six gigs of RAM. It's not as responsive as I want it to be, because when you see six gigs of RAMs, you expect a lot of speed. But then again, this does not have the best chip. The chip said that it has is from 2019, and it was compared to the Snapdragon 675. So it's not top tier specs, nor is it mid level specs. So that works. Let's go to YouTube. Go to my channel. Let's check out. Epic Stories. The 
Hard As you can see, you got one speaker. Fiber. It's right here at the bottom. That's pretty loud. Offshoot of Tessix Wireless. So right now they have the solars, and they also have the ombres, ombres, or the all black shades, which yeah. zoom the field. That works. Uh, once again, as you can see, there's always that little hiccup, that little bit of delay in the system. So if you're okay with that or if you used to like a blue phone, and I'm not shitting on blue phones. If you used to a blue phone, this will work. Let's go. Let's go into the settings and check this out. So you got your notifications. On for all apps, as you can see, it was super loud early in this video. Let's go back, flip the size call. What does it sound like? Okay, it's all right. And privacy, simple privacy. You shouldn't expect a lot at 200 bucks. Um, like I said, this is a cool phone for what it is, but if you're somebody who has like a OnePlus or Huawei, that's about six, 700 bucks. You're not going to want to keep this as a daily driver. This will be a decent backup phone. So let's go back. Of course, you got Duo. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Okay, that works. A little bit of a hiccup, but that works. All right, guys, so we're not going to go into great detail. We're going to the full review. We'll compare this to the Figures F3, and I'll give you a complete breakdown of everything that's on this list, everything they said that's uh, possible with this phone, including the 30 frames per second video recording. We'll get some footage of that. But let me give you my final thoughts on this and its initial review. All right, family, so in conclusion, when I think of the NX Pro Plus, I feel like this is a good first attempt from Tessix Wireless or Inspire, which is their uh, electronic. I forgot about that phone. I feel like this is a great first attempt from the company, but there are some key things I think they missed with this unveiling. The reason why I say that is because this is the NX Pro Plus. And that nomenclature is attached to tech giants like OnePlus, Huawei, Samsung, iPhone. When you use that, that typically means this is your best offering you have out of your electronics division. So when you put Pro or when you put Pro Plus, people have a lot of expectations. Even at the $200 price point, I feel like there's a little letdown, and that letdown came in the UI. It's a little slow. At first, it was buggy. They fixed it with a software update. Shout out to them for having that uh, already on standby. So once you get your device, give it a moment to catch up to itself. Your wireless update, it'll fix the issue that way it's not with the camera. But I would have wanted more out of the UI experience than anything else. Granted, we have six gigs of RAM, but it doesn't make the full use because it's very slow. The chip is not optimized for this device, and that's really going to be a letdown for those who are looking for something that's budget but also very usable. Now, if you've come in, this is your first phone, or if you've had a blue phone. Then you won't notice it as much, but if you're like me and you've had a OnePlus 7 Pro, it's right there, it's in your face, and it's a little annoying. And it's not necessarily because this is not a great device or it doesn't look good, it's just when you're using it, you don't want to use it because you're accustomed to having certain speeds, you're accustomed to having certain capabilities, and it's just not there. Now, can I recommend this device? Yes, for the person who's getting their first phone, or the person who's always had a budget phone, this is a great device. You can get this. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles, but it has enough for you to be able to use it on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, for those of us who spend $500 to $1,000 on our phones, this will probably make a decent backup at best. And that's just my honest opinion. Stay tuned for the full review. Hit the subscribe button, the notification bell. Also, if you want to know what's on my feet, make sure you tune in.